Hello YouTube, Byron at Splitting Slices, and today, Sunday, April 21st, 2024, we're going to conclude the third episode of our second series on shop sharps, notably the Forstner bit. We're going to show you two quick applications where the bit is used to remove wood for cabinet fabrication. Now the first application is going to be the removal of the majority of the wood required to install a standard door hinge. Most people are familiar with the door hinges on their homes or if you're building jewelry boxes and furniture you would use these type of hinges as well. What I have is a board that I have marked the outline of the wood that I need to remove from the board in order to install the hinge on this furniture piece. Let's go ahead and use the Forstner bit to quickly remove the majority of the wood and then show you how a hand chisel would be used to complete the job. Now if we take a look with a removal of a few little pieces left, you can see that with the Forstner bit I have removed the majority of the wood that would be required to install the hinge. What now can be done is to score the perimeter and then using a hand chisel like this we could remove the rest of it. So although this is still time consuming, it is quicker than the standard mortise and tenon operation that was used in traditional cabinet making. Okay, now the second application in cabinet building, and the main one, quite frankly, that the Forstner bit is used, is to drill a hole for the installation of what is called a Euro hinge. Now these are the typical hinges. They are soft closing and are the typical hinges that are used in today's modern cabinets. So let's go ahead and drill a hole for the installation of this hinge. We're going to set the edge of the board to four inches and drill the hole. And now we'll go ahead and install the hinge, push it down to make sure the depth is correct, it is, and then the hinge would be finally installed with two screws through the top. So this concludes our series on the Forstner bit. I hope this has helped anybody that is interested in using these tools. Some frequently asked questions are, how fast should you use the bits? approximately 600 RPM is all the faster you want to use these bits so you prevent damage or dulling or burning the edge of the chisel on the bit. Thanks again folks this is Byron from Splitty Slices signing off.